Let's create glass effect in Adobe Photoshop. For the background, I have used this image. So let's get started by creating a rectangle by clicking on the rectangle tool and left click on the artboard. And we'll get this panel. Change width to 400 pixels and height to 600 pixels. And click on OK. Now select the Move tool and place the rectangle like this. Now select the Rectangle tool again and you will see these dots. Using these, we can curve the corners. Make sure that the Linked option is enabled in the Properties panel. Now left click and drag on this dot to curve the corners like this. Now we'll change the fill color to white and keep stroke to none. Next, select the Move tool and in Layers panel, select the background. Now duplicate it by pressing Ctrl plus J and select the duplicated layer and drag it on top of the rectangle layer. Now right click on it and click on Create Clipping Mask. Then right click again and click on Convert to Smart Object. Now go to Filter and click on Blur, Gaussian Blur. Keep Radius to 8 pixels and click OK. Go to Filter and click on Noise, Add Noise, and keep amount to 2% and click OK. Go to Filter once again and click on Filter Gallery. In the Distort folder, click on Glass and keep Distortion and Smoothness to 1 and click on OK. As you can see, we have got the glass effect. Now we'll give depth to it. Double click on the rectangle layer and check Drop Shadow. Click on it and copy these settings. Once done, click on OK. A quick tip, if you select only the top layer and move it, only the internal image moves. So, if you want to move the image with the frame, select both the top layer and the rectangle layer and move to place it however you like. Now, let's add a few things to make the output look complete. Click on the top layer and then select the Type tool and type whatever you like. For the font, I am using the Leto font. Then select the Move tool and align it. I have kept the font size and leading to 150 points. Now right click on the Rectangle tool and select the Ellipse tool. Then left click on the artboard and keep width and height to 90 pixels. Change the fill color to white and keep stroke to none. Then select the Move tool and place the ellipse to your liking. And we are done. Hope you liked the tutorial. Hope you got to learn something new. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.